Hey everyone, Akash here and I welcome you all to my YouTube dev channel. I hope you all are doing good and keeping yourself safe during this period of lockdown. So guys, what's keeping you from learning new JS? I guess nothing because I've got your back. So guys, I am once again back with another Vue.js tutorial and in this we are going to build our second project in Vue.js that is going to be a Vue.js chat application with Firebase file store and storage. Okay, so and for those who have not yet watched my previous videos on Vue.js like in which I have told you how to set up Vue.js and we have made one project that is Juru app. Yeah, it was cool. So I will drop a link in the description box. So guys, just check that uh, video and and yes if you have not subscribed to my channel then please do subscribe please like share and subscribe to my channel because guys when you subscribe or when you comment uh, when you comment on any of my video then I get a notification and that notification from you all makes me really happy makes me really happier and it really motivates me to make more such videos so guys let's have a look at our uh, like how our project is gonna be looking and i also want to tell you one more thing that i have not focused much on much on design okay uh, i have focused much more on the concepts of UJS and firebase uh, and firestore so let's get started okay so this is our chat component okay yeah and you can visit your profile section by simply clicking your profile picture okay so let's uh, let's go to our profile section so this will be our profile section it's it's quite simple uh, just simply a heading and from here you can upload your profile picture and here uh, like here you can just update your name and you can update your info and you will when when you will click on save it will just get updated and from here uh, from the list of your friends you can just communicate with your friends you can simply type any random message let's type any random message like hooray and just send it okay cool yeah so the message uh, that we will send it will be like you know uh, displayed on the right hand side and the message that we will be receiving will be displayed on the left hand side okay i think that's good uh, now let's look at other components okay so this will be our login component okay and this will be our uh, sign up component okay so that user can create an account uh, okay now uh, now these were the modules of our chat application now let's and one more thing we will be using firebase for the backend so let's see how we can create a project on firebase okay what you have to do is you simply need to log in and simply need to create a new project okay write your project name in here okay write your project name and simply click continue okay we do not need google analytics so yeah we do not need this for our project so we will we will simply turn it off and we will create our project okay so now the firebase is creating our project okay so uh, it will take few seconds so let me tell you we will be using um, firestore okay uh, firebase database basically and firebase storage and one more thing we will be using firebase authentication service okay okay cool our project is also ready let's click on continue okay so this is how our dashboard looks okay okay so guys firebase provides two two database basically two kinds of database one is real time and another one is firestore cloud firestore so we will be using cloud firestore for our project firebase storage for storing our uh, images basically okay now let's create the database 
okay so we have to we will be creating our database in test mode okay click that radio button and simply click on next okay cool so our um, database has been created okay so now uh, let me um, okay so here you can just uh, see your rules okay the read and write rules okay and you can also edit them okay you can also update these rules okay so now let's have a look of the schema basically uh, how we are going to keep our uh, structure of the database okay so let uh, make a collection uh, users okay click on next okay so now here we can add the field uh, like the field that we want to have like name password email id okay description and uh, url okay guys once done click on save and now here our collection is ready with the fields okay okay so now in this authentication tab what you have to do is you need to go to sign in method and you just need to turn this email and password service as on okay you need to enable it so that we can use this service okay cool um, now our next step is to okay now we need storage so okay just simply click on get started next yeah and done okay so uh, now friends our storage portion is done okay and uh, okay so what i need, want to tell you is i have my you know vue.js project set up okay like if you have if you do not know how to set up your vue.js project okay so you can just watch my previous video in which i have told you uh, in which i have shown how to set up vue.js project from scratch okay I will drop a link in the description box and uh, and I will just give you an overview okay so what you have to do is you have to create a project okay and uh, go to that location okay of your folder and you simply have to run uh, these two lines okay first one is npm install hyphen hyphen global view hyphen cli okay it will install view cli for you and followed by this uh, you have to uh, create your project okay 
you have to create your project okay and uh, with webpack template and for which uh, the command is view in it webpack to do app okay okay so this is the directory structure that you can see this is the main.js file which is the entry point of our app basically project okay this app id is basically defined in index.html um, okay so within that div our entire project is going to be rendered okay so now what i want to tell you like now okay so our app is running it looks good okay so if you have done this much okay if you have set up your if you have done your setup for this project like if you have installed your Vue.js, then uh, what i have told you in uh, like um, there is one question that is asked that do you want to install view router during the installation okay so just simply do it no okay we will not install it at that time we will install it now okay later on manually okay so first uh, let us just uh, create the files that we will be needing okay so the uh, modules that we will be making uh, are chat component chat box and login and sign up and profile section okay okay so now let us install view router okay what for view router what you have to do you simply have uh, you simply need to run this command uh, the command like npm install view router okay Okay, now once our and uh, view router is installed now let's see how to configure it okay now we will be configuring uh, config uh, what now we will be configuring it okay okay now let's configure it in main.js file okay uh, uh, just follow the steps uh, what I am doing okay okay so in routes.js what we are gonna do is we will simply return an array of object okay and with um, the object will correspond to the path and the component that we have to render okay so just quickly make this file okay once done import it in main.js and we have to provide it in basically the router instance that we have created okay so let's um, uh, quickly write few lines in our login component 
so that we have something to see on the browser and export it okay now just remove this uh, image we do not need this and now what we have to add here is router view okay I just add this tag basically uh, yeah so that we can uh, load our routes okay okay cool so our project is running yeah you can see uh, welcome to Vue.js chat application. Okay, so this is basically our login page. Okay, so okay, now um, let us install one more thing, um, Bootstrap for Vue.js. Okay, so. Okay, so the command for installing uh, bootstrap is npm install view bootstrap hyphen view bootstrap okay okay just quickly okay so once it is installed uh, let's quickly uh, set up it okay cool so now guys our bootstrap and view router we have uh, set up both the things okay guys just do one thing uh, just remove this margin top from here and simply add a width of 100 viewport okay Okay, so guys, this is it for this video. I hope you like the content and you have understood how to set up your UJS project, how to set up router and how to install the dependencies. So if you have liked my video, then do subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned. Thank you.